Welcome back y'all and today we're talking about ammonia poisoning in your fish and what you can do about it. One of the most common causes of fish loss is a spike of ammonia in the aquarium and it's often seen in newly set up fish tanks. Ammonia is extremely, extremely toxic and it can sometimes wipe out an entire tank in just a matter of hours. Even the slightest amount of ammonia in your aquarium can start causing your fish stress and for them to start exhibiting symptoms. Now, ammonia in our aquarium is going to be invisible to the naked eye. So that is why it is so very, very important to routinely test your water. Symptoms of ammonia poisoning or ammonia burn can happen slowly over time or really, really rapidly. Fish will often be seen gasping for air and their gills may have a reddish appearance, almost as though they are bleeding. Fish also tend to become more lethargic, refuse to eat, and they may have clamped fins. As the ammonia symptoms worsen, you may start to even notice red streaking throughout your fish's body or fins. And you may experience fish loss. The good news is that treating ammonia poisoning in your tank can be as simple as doing a water change. Now there are products that do claim to remove ammonia from our aquariums. The only way to truly remove ammonia from a tank is through water changes and through the process of the nitrogen cycle. These chemicals typically just bind to the ammonia, making it safer for your fish, but not really resolving the actual problem. When you're using these types of chemicals, if you do test your water, it will still show that there is ammonia in the water. And while this may offer a temporary solution, long term, it may do more harm than good. When it comes to ammonia, prevention is really truly key. Ammonia poisoning is most commonly seen in newly set up aquariums that have not fully cycled before adding fish or that were stocked too quickly or too heavily for the amount of bacteria that is colonized in that tank. This is why cycling your tank before adding fish along with routine water testing is so very important. So what exactly is cycling an aquarium? When you're setting up a new aquarium, the tank needs time for beneficial bacteria to colonize. This is where the nitrogen cycle comes into play. Fish waste or fish food break down into ammonia, and then there are beneficial bacteria that help to break down that ammonia into nitrites, and then another type of bacteria that breaks down the nitrites into nitrates. The nitrates are then either used by live plants or removed through our routine water changes. For more information about cycling your aquarium and the nitrogen cycle, I do actually have two videos that I will have links to in the description box below. So anyway, guys, that's all I really have for y'all today. As always, thank you so, so much for watching. I love you guys, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!